So, I wanted to share with everyone that I've been talking to about my low carb, it's not mine, it's like a low carb diet, everyone does it, right? But I wanna talk about some of the things I do after, let's say, fasting for a little bit, what I drink in order to be able to digest certain foods in order to prevent bloating or um, maybe constipation, maybe the opposite, right, that diarrhea. So, um, your body's adjusting to all these foods, right? Eventually, you won't have to drink this every single time, but it does help with digestion. So one, it is uh, apple cider vinegar, okay? Um, I take two tablespoons, so this is uh, two tablespoons, okay? What I'll do is that I'll pour this right inside, just dink it in. The next thing I do is that I will have lemon juice. Now, not every Costco sells this, but really nice is the Italian Volcano. Uh, it's 100% not, uh, not from concentrate. It's 40 lemons in every bottle. What I'll do is that I'll have two tablespoons of that before I eat. Let me show you the way I mix it. This stuff's delicious. And what I'll do is that I'll pour the water in. I don't have my metal straw, I should have washed it yesterday, here it is. Okay, mix it up a bit. Now this is gonna help me. Get my digestive enzymes ready to be able to process foods. If you want to, what you could do is you can have one tablespoon before of both the lemon and the apple cider vinegar, and then one tablespoon of lemon afterwards. This is going to help the stomach process the food, and it's also going to help your gallbladder get bile, and bile helps you um, kind of flush out your intestines, but also helps you process and digest fats. So remember, have this drink before and after you eat if you're having trouble with like maybe some bloating. So the second thing I'm going to mention, so I I drank my lemon juice, my apple cider vinegar, now all these enzymes in my body are telling, hey, we're getting ready to eat, right? Little by little. And the second thing you're going to want to do, so you can even have a soup. I have a previous video on soup, the soup that I make. It's nice and warm, it helps you kind of open up your stomach a bit, and then you can have maybe like a light avocado. If you wait 30 minutes, you can also do this. Um, eat fermented foods. Fermented foods help you build your gut bacteria, your micro your microbiome. It's very good for your gut, right? So these are some of the fermented foods I enjoy to eat. I get most of this at Costco or either at Walmart. But first of all is uh, the Tasso's, um, what is it called? Um, olives. Tasso's olives, okay? These are really, really good. They're very tasty. You can get some like green ones or these purple ones, but um, I think the green ones are a different company. The next thing would be would be uh, petite dill pickles. Um, I try to get the ones that only have, so I'll look at the ingredients and um, I just try to make sure that they don't have too much crap in it, right? Uh, but these are really good. They sell these at Costco, super delicious. And this is sauerkraut. This is organic. I get this at Sprouts. They used to sell them at Costco, these big, huge jars. They don't do that anymore. It's unfortunate, but I wish I would bring it back. Um, the other one would be hot chili peppers. These are very delicious. I only have maybe one or two. If you have too much, warning. It's not going to do you good next time you go to the restroom. The next thing would be were pepperoncinis. Also very good fermented food. The next one would be is um, cueritos. Okay, so this is pork skin, also fermented with vinegar. Very, very tasty, very delicious. Just get it out of your mind. Yes, it's pork skin, but it's edible. No carbs, absolutely delicious. The plate will look something like this. Okay. And that, that's gonna basically help you also build up your gut bacteria, and it's gonna be really good for you to be able to digest foods. So after I wait those 30 minutes, you don't even have to wait them, maybe 20 minutes, if you're eating twice a day, 20 minutes, after you drink your, your uh, your lemon juice and your apple cider vinegar, you can have this food to prepare you, right? And then I'll show you some other foods that I eat and some of the stuff I eat for high nutrient content. So one of the things that I really miss eating is chips, right? So I used to miss you know, like Doritos, Hot Cheetos, Takis, you name it, I used to love chips. One of the things that I, as a small snack, I'm not saying much on this like crazy, but 
It's uh, chicharrones. Um, these are zero carbs, high in fat. Um, and I know what you're thinking, fat, well, don't worry about it. Trust me, if you're eating a low carb diet, you have nothing to worry about if you're eating fat. Um, but check with your doctor and you should also get a heart scan for calcification to see how much calcification you have. If you don't have anything, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, you check that every year, you'll be fine. I have these chicharrones, absolutely delicious. Now I'm gonna move on to meat, right? So some of this is some of the stuff that I enjoy eating and I think it's absolutely delicious. I sometimes mix it with lemon, salt, and tapatio. Um, baby clams. And so I look at the ingredients. The ingredients just have baby clams, water, salt, citric acid, and calcium sodium. Okay, so this is what I have. Uh, the baby clams, absolutely delicious. Uh, cod liver in its own oil. Super high in vitamin A, super high in vitamin D. Very delicious. Now, I mix these two up, put some lemon and salt. Uh, that way the flavor isn't as intense, um, but I highly recommend it. You can buy the cod liver oil at Amazon. Um, sardines in 100% olive oil. Absolutely delicious. I like to have these with lemon. Uh, put a little bit of salt, put a little bit of tapatio. Tastes delicious. Sardines, you can buy these at Costco. Super cheap. Another thing is that I also buy this at Costco is wild cat, caught salmon. Maybe like around $35, I think. But you get a bunch of them and they last forever and they're really tasty. The other thing I do is that I'll get, you know, maybe some ribeyes, put them in these frozen plastic uh, bags. Um, and I also get some premium red meats. And the next thing I do is that I'll get some calf liver. Super high in vitamin Bs and super high in vitamin A. Calf liver tastes way better than beef liver. So if you don't, you don't like that strong potent smell that beef liver has and go with the calf liver. It's actually very delicious. I really like it. I forgot to mention uh, chicken thighs. Mmm. Now I usually get organic, but this time I was being kind of cheap. That was not special, so. Another thing I do to save money, um, I know a lot of people don't like frozen foods, but I'll eat it anyways, just cause, you know, I view it as a nutrition, just consume it. Organic uh, cauliflower rice. Super cheap, you buy at Costco. Next thing would be organic broccoli. Also very super cheap at Costco, delicious. You gotta know how to prepare it. If you know how to prepare it and master it, they taste just as good as fresh. At Costco, they also sell this. It's uh, They call it the sweet kale. It has like contains seven superfoods. Some people would argue whether or not they're superfoods, but it's like kale, Brussels sprouts, and the salad's very delicious. Honestly, I don't consume it with the, with the dressing it has on here. I consume it with ranch. Sometimes I'll maybe like an avocado oil dressing. Um, but I just throw the dressing away, but I'll put the raisins on there. They make it taste good. And then I also have some mushrooms. And I put a little bit of avocado, sometimes peanuts. It tastes pretty good.
Alexa, stop. <clears throat> Ooh, that's spicy.
Hey Google, what are some foods high in iodine? On the website healthline.com, they say, the foods highest in iodine include seaweed, dairy, tuna, shrimp, and eggs. Do you want a little more context? Yes. The foods highest in iodine include seaweed, dairy, tuna, shrimp, and eggs. Additionally, most table salt has been iodized, providing an easy way to add iodine to your meals. 